Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Title Minute. On today's episode of the Title Minute, we're actually going to continue our series on the Fidelity Agent One application. In this episode, we're going to discuss and show you how to personalize the application from the desktop. Okay, now remember, this application is available on iOS, Android. That means it'll work on your iPhone, your Android, your Samsung Galaxy, any platform this works on. We have a desktop version and a native application on your computer. So if you make these changes in one place, they're going to work everywhere. Okay, so this is the Fidelity Agent login screen just on a web browser. The website's fidelityagent.com, and I'm going to go ahead and click login. What's my email address? I'm going to enter my email address right here. I'm going to enter my password. Hopefully I can remember it. Big bucks, no whammies. And it works, so I'm going to save it. So it takes a second for the application to load on the desktop, as you can see. Now, because it's a free application, there's some pop-ups that, that explain some of the new information and the new features that we have. So today we're just going to go over the feature of how to personalize this entire application. So for, it's going to open up to the buyer's cost to estimated cost to close. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to see an image with a drop down. And so if we click on that, we'll go down here and we'll click profile. Now, as you can see, I've already entered some of my information. So when you get into the edit profile screen, you're going to actually be able to upload your headshot and your company logo, as you can see right here. You're just going to click to edit it. It'll ask you to remove the current logo if there's one there or just enter a new one. We'll make sure your name is in there spelled correctly, your cell phone number, of course, your email address, whatever your website is. And it's very important that you include your, uh, your license number and your name if you have one. It's, uh, I believe that it's a regulation. It allows you to select uh, the default language, the, have the equal housing logo along with the disclaimer, signatures, things like that. Now, it's going to actually, you're going to need to enter the company information, your slogan or title and your address, and then you can just hit save. And that's going to update that information. And the reason why we want to update the personal profile information and to have your headshot and company information on here is what you see in the output for the seller's net sheets, the buyer's cost to close estimate, and even the premium features, it's actually gonna include that information on the website and on the printouts and on the emails and on all the marketing materials that Fidelity Agent One generates. We wanna make sure it has all of your info and that it's correct. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of the Title Minute. Next week, we'll be talking about how to create a seller's net sheet within Fidelity Agent One. Take care.